And what we have to remember is that birth is not something that we can plan, actually. Birth is a natural process and it will go however the body and the baby decide that it's going to go during that labour. So I had all three of my children in hospital. I would never consider having a home birth. And this isn't to do with scaremongering or anything. It's to do with potential benefit and potential risk. The, the, the best thing, the best case scenario for a home birth is that you have a more relaxed, you know, and a, and a calm time, which is extremely important for the mother. And that's been shown to be the case. If you have a good birth experience, it's good for right. you postnatal. The worst case scenario is so terrible that we don't want to think of it. And in those moments, you have minutes, not hours. And of course, that to also get. happens in hospital. And that's of a really big, important point, you know, that it's not only yes. at home that, that there are risks. Of course, yeah. But I mean, you asked about women and advice and the advice that we're giving. I think there's a, there's a terrible um, sort of a slide or a, a trend almost at the moment to give women so much advice and to, to almost make pregnancy and childbirth and motherhood as, as choices that we're making, that we have these choices to make. And it's very important that we have choices and that they're informed choices. But we're very controlling now. We like to plan everything. And I, even in, in the interview that you had before, she said a woman should have the birth that she would like to have. Well, that's lovely if it goes that way. And, you know, we, we're comparing like with like and we're comparing low risk. I was the lowest risk category you could have. 23 years old, very fit, very healthy. When I went into labour, I ended up having a terrible problem with my first baby, and they had minutes to make a decision of to get, you know, to get her out and to save her life. It would have been lovely probably to have been at home and have been relaxed in my own surroundings, but when things go wrong, mm. and that's what we have to but remember, why do a third of women manage to have babies at home and, and it's safe? Only 3%. Many, many yeah. women have very safe and healthy home births, and we do have to, many do, and many have complications in hospital births. There's also, you know, there is this idea of, you know, being, quote, forced or pressurised into having a caesarean in hospital, which we have to be very careful about. You know, what we need is for hospital births to become better safer and more pleasant experiences for mothers because then you have the best of okay. both worlds well yeah. i think what we need is, is 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 to give women give women the choice so that they yeah. can that they can give birth where they want to and i'd never try and persuade you to have a birth <laughs> at home yeah because you'd have a job i think <laughs> <laughs> thank you both for